Hello, MNF Studios here, and today we're going to be looking at a mock, more or less, uh, a mod, uh, rather, uh, of a uh, very cool mech that we did get released back in 2019 in the uh, Spider Man vs. Venom mech or something like that. Uh, Spider Mech vs. Venom set, um, which I got that set. I was really glad to get that one because I got the October with that. But um, we'll talk about that uh, some in some other video, but. For now, we're going to be focusing on this awesome mock that I produced. I think it's pretty cool anyway. Uh, of the spider mech, and basically what my interpretation of it uh, would look like. And basically, this is supposed to be a better version of it. What I personally think should have been in the set to begin with. So, um, we're just going to get right into it. Just look at some of the finer details. Uh, some of the things I knew were important with this uh, modification that I did. And... Yeah, so we're going to get right into it. So, uh, I'm going to do a quick 360 view of the mock. I'll take Spider-Man out of it for a little bit, but let me readjust here. Got to raise my camera. There we go. Better. So, 360 view. We have the front, side. Better look at that side portion. Back. Okay, so there's just a quick view of him, uh, 360 view. So uh, first of all, we're gonna look at the functionality. For the most part, the functionality of this mock is, uh, or mod rather, uh, is pretty similar to the original. You still have the arm joints. Uh, the only thing I did update with this arm was I actually took off the web claw things. I didn't feel that they were necessary. I didn't like them on there, so. I think this looks a whole lot better, actually, and I like that, so, and I actually don't mind the blue pin in there, because it kind of matches his color scheme, and then, obviously, he does have the same rotations and movements here, again, did nothing to the arm, but take off the, uh, I took off the little ammo bits here, or whatever, I didn't feel those were necessary, and then I did, obviously, add a head, there's really not a whole lot of motion with the head, other than the up and down motion to close it up. Legs, basically the same. They're a little hindered. That's the only bad thing about these ones, about these legs, is they are a little hindered here. But you bring them around there, they kick fine. So, and then the foot. Uh, I didn't add a knee joint to this one. I didn't feel it was necessary. I think it looked okay without one. So, uh, but it might be something I do is update the knees. But first of all, some of the major things that I thought would have been uh, or, or were vital to this mod. Uh, of mine was actually the like complete whole chest section. I felt like it was really uh, struggling here. <laughs> uh, was really really uh, frustrating to me. I didn't like how it was designed. In fact, I really hated how it was done uh, because it was just literally these two pieces here with um, just some web pieces, which didn't look good. And I thought, wow, Lego, you really let us down with this mech. Because this could have been way better, and that's what I think this is. This is a way better version of that. So, uh, although I do like the fact that you do, that he, uh, he did get some sort of mock, or, uh, excuse me, mech. Uh, I did like the fact that he did get one, but the one we did get, uh, the one we got was just not very, very good. So I decided to just completely make over this thing and add some extra detail here and there. So, first of all, the back... Uh, it's completely done. I put this uh, little booster pack here on there uh, to kind of uh, give him like some sort of big booster, just, you know, for like easier travel. His main booster there, um, and that just simply goes on with the one by twos here. Then I added this uh, little piece here, probably like some mechanical pieces in there and such, and that's about it with the back in terms of the front again you can definitely tell the front is a lot different a lot more protection for spider-man so um, first of all I got this this headpiece is completely my original design so basically there's this uh, one by one clip piece here and that just connects on to that red uh, two, uh, one by two clip piece uh, with these and then I put these on for just some extra detail, really just some added thing, 
uh, to kind of make some a little bit more armor there. And then this face is just a uh, uh, two by two with a couple one by ones here. So pretty simple head actually. It's really easy to do this one, and I did not find it hard at all. So let me just put it right back on there. So very easy, very simple uh, thing you can do. And then of course you have these. Uh, pieces here to kind of block out the head gaps because obviously you close this up it's quite a bit of gapage there so I did not want that I wanted all that to be blocked up for the most part and that does a pretty decent job of doing it another thing you do have now is uh, with this mock or mod uh, is you do have the ability to completely cover up spider -Man. so you completely put that down for the most part and you can take your Spider-Man thing and just put him right on the same black tile piece there. Pretty simply. Make sure you secure. And he does still, for the most part, hold on to those little uh, pieces there to show that he is kind of controlling the mech. So, and got this thing stuck on here. But basically, you can close this up, and you will notice that these uh, curved pieces do come out. You just have to readjust those, put those right back up. So very easy thing to do there. And those are just connected by some of those one-by-ones uh, there with the uh, added pinhole piece and whatnot. So very, very easy thing to do. Uh, you will notice I did also add an air character because I just felt like this would be like some sort of Iron Man like vehicle so but yeah you can see he's got a lot of protection said he's you know there's a lot of space for him too so you can just put this down and there you go so now you got your spider-man fig in there all suited up ready to fight venom or whoever faces him so but yeah there you go that's pretty much all there is to it again I, I made this pretty easy pretty self-explanatory so, and uh I did do that on purpose. I didn't want to take this off, but uh, basically, here's a better look at this. So, um, as you can tell, um, it's very easy to do this. So, here's a little inside structure look. So, it's actually just taking a couple of these one by two pieces with the little side stud things here and just plugging on some. Uh, these curved pieces, a ton of, like there's like three of them there. So again, very easy, very simple thing to do. And then just put this on here. And yeah, I mean it, it's pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory how I did that and pulled that off. So for the most part, and obviously uh, I did also use these cheese slopes to kind of hinder the movement of these, not make them go clean past those for the most part. Just keep those pretty sturdy. And pretty uh, non hittable off, I guess. I don't really know how to put that. They just do not come off very easily unless you purposely take these off for the most part or wiggle them around a lot. So, for the most part, this mock is pretty sturdy. Uh, that's one thing I do like about how I designed this is for the most part, it's not going to fall apart on you too much unless you completely drop it, like throw it at the ground. You know, I, I can bang this thing around, move all this around tap all of this however I want and for the most part everything stays together you know I'd say one weak point is probably this piece right here um, which doesn't even seem to come off very easily so I can tap this just about however I want and nothing absolutely nothing is falling off as you can tell so very easy very simple mod you can do to this so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this little video just uh, going over this uh quick and easy mod that you can do just at home you know if you have some extra pieces you want to use them put them on this guy you know if you have some extra red some extra blue put them on this guy so very easy very you know quick easy steps to take with this mod so uh, and before I go I do want to do a quick comparison real quick here's the Hulkbuster just a quick comparison so yeah he's a little bit taller than a Hulkbuster so uh, just with the way I designed the head and whatnot so and way the way it connects so and this is a modified version of him, which is still kind of a work in progress, but of the whole cluster.
I don't know if I'll take a look at this one in a separate video. I might, but we'll just see. But yeah, you can tell he is a little bit taller. So. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to go look at some of my other mocks. Uh, I do have an upcoming mock right there. This little spider mobile I will be showcasing here soon, sometime. I also showcased that little Iron Patriot mock with the rocket up there. I completely showcased that. So go be sure to take a look at that. So let me zoom in there a little bit. But and there you go. Go be sure to go look at that. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy video just going over a mod that I did. Uh, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.